Hi, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to continue with example 4 under optimization using second derivative test. Okay. Ashraf wants to build a garden fence to protect a rectangular 80 square meter planting area. Fencing costs RM4 per meter for two opposite sides and RM5 per meter for the other two sides. Find the dimension of the planting area that we minimize Ashraf's cost to build the fence. Okay. Alright, step one. We draw a picture of the physical situation. Okay. From here, we have garden fence to protect a rectangular 80 square meter. Okay. So we have rectangular square meter here. Okay, this is Ashraf Garden. Okay, area equals to A equals to 80 meter square. Okay, and then we write X as a width and then length equals to Y. Okay, okay and then step 2, equate and the appropriate formula to the given value. Write y as a subject and naming it as equation 1. Okay. So, from the given area here equals to 80 meter squared. So, we can write area equals to 80 meter squared. Okay. This is the given value. Then, we equate an appropriate formula. Okay. So, now we have area of rectangle which is x times y. So, we equate to the given value, okay, equals to 80. Then, we write y as a subject. So, y equals to 80 over x and naming it as equation 1, right? After that, we continue with step 3, okay? Write another relevant formula and naming it as equation 2, okay? From garden fence to protect a rectangular, this is two-dimensional diagram. Under two-dimensional diagram, we have area formula and perimeter formula. Okay, so we continue with perimeter formula. In this case, garden fence. Okay, so from Ashraf garden here, okay, we have fence x okay, plus y plus x plus y. Okay? So, we can write fence or perimeter equals to x plus y plus x plus y. Then, we simplify so we get p equals to 2x plus 2y. Okay? This question asking about cost. Okay? Alright, so to find cost for two-dimensional diagram, we can refer perimeter formula. Okay, we relate with perimeter formula. So, from perimeter equals to 2x plus 2y here, okay, we can write cos equals to, alright, from here, fencing cos Rm4 per meter for two opposite sides, okay. So, we multiply 4 Rm4 by two opposite sides. Two opposite side here means 2x, okay. And then, Plus, okay, RM5 per meter for the other two sides, okay. So, RM5 here, we multiply by 2Y, okay. 2Y here means the other two sides, okay. Then, we simplify, so we get C equals to 8X plus 10Y. This is cost formula in terms of variable X and Y. Okay, then we need to write cos in terms of variable x only. Okay, then from here we can name it as equation 2. Okay, okay and then step 4, we substitute equation 1 into equation 2 to write cos formula in terms of variable x. Okay, so from equation 2, we have cos equals to 8x plus 10y. Okay. So, now we replace y from here, okay, equals to 80x. Then we simplify, so we get cos c equals to 8x plus 800 over x. This is cos formula in terms of variable x.
All right? All right, from cos in terms of variable x equals to 8x plus 800 over x, okay? And from the word minimum Ashraf cos here, okay? This is about d2c over dx squared greater than 0, okay? And to find d2c over dx2, we need to find dc over dx first. And to find dc over dx, so we can write c equals to 8x plus 800x to the power of negative 1, okay? Then we can continue with step 5, okay? Find dc over dx, okay? So, from C here, we differentiate with respect to X. So, we get DC over DX equals to, we differentiate 8X, we get X here. And then, we differentiate 800X to the power of negative 1. So, we get negative 800X to the power of negative 2. Okay. Right then, step 6. When DC DX equals to 0, we need to find X. Okay. So, from 8 minus 800 x to the power of negative 2, we equate to 0 here, okay? Then, we can use properties of indices to move x to the power of negative 2 to denominator. Then, we get x to the power of positive 2 or x squared. So, we get 8 minus 800 over x squared equals to 0, okay? And, 8 equals to positive 800 over x squared. Then, we cross multiply, so we get x squared equals to 800 over 8, which is equals to 100, okay? Then we solve for x, so we get x equals to 10, and the given unit here is meter, so we can write x equals to 10 meter, okay? After we find the value of x, we continue with step 7, okay? Find d2c over dx2. To find the second derivative, we need to refer from first derivative, okay? So, to find d2c over dx2, okay, we differentiate from dc over dx, okay, which is equals to 8 minus 800x to the power of negative 2 in the previous slide, okay? So, after we differentiate, we get d2c over dx2, okay? We differentiate constant, we get 0, no need to write, and we differentiate negative 800x to the power of negative 2, we get positive 1600x to the power of negative 3. And using the properties of indices, we can move down. So we write d2c over dx2 equals to 1600 over x cubed. Okay? And from the word minimize Ashraf's cost, okay, it is about d2c over dx2 greater than 0. Okay? So from here, to determine whether the value of d2c over dx2 equals to positive value or negative value, or in other words, greater than 0 or less than 0, we need to substitute the value of x here. Okay? So, we continue with the other step. Okay? When x equals to 10 meter, okay, we find the value of d2c over dx2, okay? So, from here, we have d2c over dx2 equals to 1600 over x cubed. So, we replace x here by 10, okay? So, we get 10 cubed here, okay? Positive divided by positive equals to positive value, or in other words, greater than 0, okay? If d2c over dx2 greater than 0, means we get small graph. Smart graph here means minimum, okay? So, we can write when x equals to 10 meter, okay? Then we find the value of y because we want to find the dimension, okay? So, from equation 1 in the previous slide, y equals to 80 over x. So, we replace x equals to 10 here. So, we get 80 over 10 which is equals to 8 meter, okay? So, from here... So, we can write the dimension that will minimize the cost. Okay, dimension here, okay, means width and length, okay. Width equals to x, which is 10 meter, and length equals to y, which is 8 meter. This is the dimension that will minimize the cost, right?
Coming up next, mean value theorem for differentiation. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.